All right, sweet gang, we're going to try this again. What's good? It's your girl, Ro, back for the show. Good morning, good morning. We're going to try this again. YouTube doing this morning. It just seen the just seen the notification. But what's good? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Make sure my candy melts is melted here. This morning, I'm going to share with you live how to create Valentine strawberries. Welcome, 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 Jersey girl. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Angel. Good morning. I'm doing that now. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Well, I'm just going to share with you how to create some Valentine strawberries. Spend a little moment with you. And then I'm going to come back do a couple of live videos and then I'm going to come back and do some Valentine candy apples with you. All right. So I got my chocolate already melted and any questions that you have, I will answer them after I get done dipping here. What I have in my glass um, uh, container here is some already melted um, candy melts, which I um, enhance the color um, by using a chocolate food coloring which I'm going to show and demonstrate um, that as well okay also I'm going to show you the process of how to melt the chocolate as well as um, color all right so what I like to do is already clean your strawberries. I clean my strawberries with a vegetable wash that you can get on Amazon. And anything that I have um, used in this video, I will put in the link um, down below. Um, but I use a vegetable wash, apple cider vinegar, and water, and I put it in a spray bottle. I mix half of the wash, half of um, a half cup of apple cider vinegar and about a third of water and put it in a spray bottle and I make sure that I after I don't let them soak I don't let them soak overnight this is how I keep my greenery but if you use apple cider vinegar and just dip them in there for about a few minutes pull them out and dry them off with a paper towel or a towel your strawberries will last a little longer. Strawberries do not last um, for a long period of time. So you just have to keep in mind when you dip strawberries, make sure your customers are um, en route to pick them up or going to pick them up in the next day after you have made them. So after I dip my strawberries in this bowl of uh, wash mix that I've created up, I take them out and I dry them off and I put them back in the container. Then I take the spray bottle and I spray my strawberries to make sure I clean around the leaf part, okay? You want to remove all parasites, whatever you that may have been done crossed over these berries while they was in the strawberry pasture. You want to make sure all of that is clean before you dip strawberries and pull any dead leaves off of your strawberries okay so you don't get all of that when you dip and soak but this is what you look for when you get ready to dip your strawberries all right so I like to put toothpicks in my strawberries when I dip them inserting them right into the center of the berry you don't have to go down too far just enough for it to go in so you can dip and have a good hold on your strawberries after dipping them in your candy melts. 
There's a difference in candy melts and chocolate. Chocolate, you have to temper the chocolate. Um, bring it to a certain temperature and bring it back, bring it up and bring it back down so that your candy melts or choc so your chocolate can um, set and be solid after dipping. Candy melts is candy melts. It's already tempered um, chocolate. It's really not chocolate. It's candy melts. Okay. I've seen a few people on here say, well, chocolate on one of my strawberry videos or my old strawberry video. It's not chocolate, it's candy melts. Well, yeah, I know that. I may say chocolate, I may say candy melts, but we know, um, I know the difference. This is candy melts that I'm working with, and a lot of people use them, okay? Um, and I'm just gonna start dipping. Okay, so the Merkins, I've preferred to use Merkins. That is my go-to candy melt. That's something that works well for me, okay? So as I dip, I want to make sure that all the extra candy milk has weakened from the strawberry. And I also scrape the back of my strawberry as so. And when I place it down on my mat, I push forward so that I won't get a puddle around my strawberry. If you do get a puddle, just pick your strawberry up and place it in another spot so that you won't have that puddling around your um, strawberry. Just make sure you gather the leaves with the toothpick and you go straight in. Okay. Having a full jar of candy melts or chocolate really helps with dipping where you're not struggling trying to grab the chocolate or candy melts that's left at the bottom of your bowl or cup or container. Place it down, press forward. Okay. Scrape the bottom, press down, and move forward. Okay, if you want to add some sprinkles, you definitely have to do it while it's wet. Okay. show you some drizzling technique. I'm going to dip one more and then I'm going to coat that with some sprinkles. Uh-oh, some of my leaf broke off here. I'm just going to remove this leaf that just broke off the berry okay so like i said if you get a puddle take it out of this place and just remove it if you want to add sprinkles apply them while your strawberry is wet If you want to do sand and sugar and some like some glam berries you can do either or glam it up or use sand and sugar so what I'm gonna do is dip this berry and show you my technique of how I add my sand and sugar to my berry Okay, you want to make sure that majority of your candy melt or chocolate has 
drizzled off of your berry. Now you don't have to do it straight from the container. You can put it in a bowl. But what I like to do is just press right into the sand and sugar, rotating it. If I gotta add some more at the top, I add it at the top. Okay. And if it do clump up, just straighten it out with your finger because it's immediately going to get hard. It's going to immediately dry up. Okay. And you can do this color to color. You don't have to like add red to pink, whatever your design, whatever you desire. Okay, you can do red to red chocolate or ca red uh, candy melts or pink sand and sugar to pink chocolate or candy melts. And if you want to glam it up, I'm using a jewel dust, which is an edible, it's full grade. And I actually sell these now. And they run about $10, but I sell them for $8.50. And they are a full grade, but you have to go to the website, choose what you like, and then email them or call them to place an order. But you must use YSC. Mention my name or use YSC, which is abbreviated for Your Sweet Connection. And they will give you that discount um, for these particular <laughs> jars. <clears throat> they also have sprinkles. Anything that on that's on there that you see, just use the code and you will get it for eight fifty, or you'll get some of these sprinkles or um, accent colors for six dollars. Okay, <clears throat> but this is what um, I use for glittering uh, my chocolate, candy melts, or even candy apples. Okay. Now, there is a spray spray pump that's provided. You can put this in the spray pump that's on the website. But it don't take much, just a little drizzle. And I'm doing this over the sand and sugar strawberry. If you want to give it a different look. And you can do that with the berry. Okay. And they come in all different colors. This is a white. And it's the Jordas. Pastel pink. Which look really pretty. If you've been to my Instagram and seen the strawberries that I've been doing lately. Or if you're part of my Valentine workshop. And you were in uh, last night class. Um, you've seen the demonstration with the strawberries being added to. Um, seeing the glitter being added to the strawberry while it's wet. Which I will do a small demonstration with you with that as well. Let's dip this berry here. Okay. Going straight in and just coming straight out. You want to focus on focus on covering your your berry completely. That what makes them look very nice and neat. Okay. Taking, I'm gonna use the pastel pink. Now you definitely want to put something up under here to collect the extra or get the little pump because this does spread everywhere so you just want to 
save your product as much as you can. And you put as much on as you desire. I don't cover the whole strawberry, like from front to back. I just cover the top. Some of the sides. I'll press that down, make sure. So if you're not in my Valentine class, my workshop, and you've seen these berries on my Instagram or my business page, or my personal page, this is how I did these berries. And it's all edible. It's food grade, edible glitter. It's a dust, a jewel dust. Okay. Now, everybody wanted an old Rochelle. How you do those lines? Well, in a piping bag, I'm already, I'm going to remelt this candy melts that I have in this piping bag. As long as you don't have a twist tie on there, you can reheat your piping bag. I save these, put them in the refrigerator, and I keep them for, keep them for about two weeks until they're all gone as long as they store properly you can reuse them so i'm gonna put the, it doesn't take long to reheat your piping bag so about 15 to 20 seconds is enough so i'm gonna start off with um heating it up for 20 seconds you fill your bag you can fill it up to your desire whatever chocolate or candy milk that you choose to put in for the color but when you get ready to cut your tip make sure you cut your tip starting off with a small small hole and then you want to test it to see that your drizzle is not too big and if it's not big enough then come back and then Cut a little bit more okay the focus is not to cut a big hole if you cut a big hole you're gonna have big lines and it's gonna look a mess over your strawberry so you want it to have it small enough where the lines are very defined very neat okay and you can use uh, also Ziploc bags and just cut the corner of them but as you reheat a uh, candy melt or chocolate that's already in the piping bag and it's already cut hold the tip and just start working that candy melts those candy melts around in the bag it's gonna be a little lumps in there and if it needs to be reheated just go ahead and reheat it okay but you want to maneuver around the chocolate or candy melts that's in your piping bag so that it can be completely melted before you use. Okay, so that I feel, I'm feeling a little lumps in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and reheat this for another 10 seconds. You're welcome, Miss Hicks. I hope everyone is enjoying it, enjoying it. Give this video some likes if you're new to my channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know your girl Ro is on. It went a little bit over 10 seconds, but that's okay. It's still warm and it's completely melted. Okay. So if you have leftover candy melts or chocolate, don't throw your bag away. Keep it. And reheat and use. Okay? So I'm going to test my drizzle. And I just go back and forth. And I got a good flow of candy melts. 
So taking my already dipped strawberry. I always like to hold the leaves to make sure I'm not getting no chocolate or candy melts on that. So you just hold at an angle. When you have your hand, when you have the bag in your hand in position, you want to do a pre-drizzle, okay? And that is just simply starting off drizzling before you even go across your berry. As you're drizzling and have your uh, bag in in, the, in your hand. You want to press. You're pressing, squeezing a generous amount as you go back and forth over your berry. All right? So I'm going to pre-drizzle. And then I'm going to go across, go across, go across. And this is just the tic-tac-toe lines. My little signature here. Start at the other angle, pre-drizzle, one, two, three. And that's it, I don't need to do no more than that. I want people to see the lines and the design that's created, okay? Now the good thing is how to get glitter over just the lines itself. Your berry have to be completely dry and then you apply to the lines because they're wet. If you try to add glitter to lines and your strawberry is wet, then you that, that glitter is gonna stick to the strawberry and you're not gonna see the, um, the lines of that glitter, okay? So just keep in mind, if you want to define something, let the strawberry be dry and the, um, glitter if you're adding to the lines and you want your lines to be glittery then apply it while it's wet and i'm talking about the line so everybody understand what i'm saying so that those lines can pop out with glitter okay so i'm gonna do another one going back and forth once again i do a pre-drizzle start off and just go back and forth okay Pre-drizzle. Just go back and forth. I'm going to just heat this up just a little bit more. I'm going to show you all uh, a nice, a particular design using a toothpick. I'm gonna just warm this up for 20 seconds. Y'all enjoying this? Uh -oh. Making sure I got all that in here so I'm gonna have to mix that in and just put it in for 10 seconds you just don't want to overheat your candy melts or your chocolate that prevents the elephant skin here so like if it needs to if it begins to thicken up just put it back in for like 10 to 15 or 20 seconds it don't need to do like a full 30 seconds because then if you melt it too much or too long rather um and you start getting those little gritty lumps in it then you don't burn your chocolate okay and you can tell when you burn your chocolate, it will be really gritty and clumps, which clumps show, show up into um, your candy melts or your chocolate. 
You definitely don't want that. So I'm gonna have my toothpick ready here. Okay, using two colors. Leaf coming off. That's why I always hold the leaves when I dip because I don't want them to fall into the uh, candy melts. Okay. Let it drizzle as much as you can. Okay. You have to do this while it's wet. Uh-oh. I'll get that in a minute. Taking a toothpick. Try not to dig in and go back up and between. Okay. And that's what you don't want to do. You want you don't want to dig too hard because you want to keep the um, chocolate covered over your strawberry. Okay, isn't that pretty? And that's with one color. You can do it with two, but it has to be wet in order to get this particular design. You go down once as i showed you and then go in between those lines okay okay and i got a little puddle right here so i'm just going to move this out the way and just change its position and move it over here. And you got your, your Valentine strawberries. Okay. So now I'm going to show you the fullness of dip, uh, melting and coloring your candy melts. Are y'all ready to see that? Y'all ready to see that? Or are you ready for me to end the video? You want to end the video we can come back and then i get started on the apples how about that or do y'all want to see me melt the chocolate and color it viewers choice y'all ready all right all right let's get started so in a glass container, I like to use a glass container because it holds heat and the candy melts or the chocolate helps melt down the chocolate and you don't have to heat it so much during the process. So what I like to do is melt in a measuring cup to let me know how much candy melts that I have. And I have uh, about 16 ounces. Once it's melted, then it melts down to about 12 ounces. So if I need to add um, Paramount Crystals or shortening, I will add that like one tablespoon of Paramount Crystals or one tablespoon of shortening, if need be. And I'm showing you, I'm going to show you how you may not need to add any shortening if you properly melt your chocolate or candy melts. I normally don't have to add any um oil to my chocolate or candy melts i just you know melt my uh, candy melts properly and it also depends on the type of candy melts that you are using all right so i'm gonna put this in here for actually i'm gonna add a little bit more so you can see the fullness of i want this to be because normally i have it filled like that 
Okay. This Merkins I got offline. It's, it's a one pound bag and it was $10. You can find it cheaper than this. I got it off of Amazon. But you can find it cheaper than this um, at your bakery supply store or any supply shops that are on Instagram. Put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Oh. Let me start it up. First 30 seconds. I'm going over how to start off to melt your chocolate and color it. Now, if you wanted to add fondant pieces to your chocolate, you can do so, like little bowls that I have here. Um, you can cut out hearts, let your fondant be firm, and just add a dab of chocolate or candy melts to the back of the fondant and place it onto your strawberries. Okay. When it comes out, I like to mix it up just to move that chocolate or candy melts around. Okay, so I don't have any issues of it burning. And then I put it back in for another 30 seconds. Now, depending on your chocolate, if it's melted a little bit, then don't do the full 30 seconds. Do about 20 seconds. Okay? But since I have majority of the candy melt still in there, I'm going to do another full 30 seconds. You have to, um, you know, know your chocolate, know your candy melts, and how they are melting. Okay? taking your spatula spoon and just work in now sometimes people when they see this that you still got candy melts in here normally what people do is put it right back in the microwave and melt it and say oh shoot it's not melted all the way no mix that chocolate or candy melts around the the other uh, melts that hasn't melted the heat from the other chocolate or candy melts that's melted or from your glass container will help melt down those other melts, okay? You just have to be patient and work that chocolate or candy melts around in your bowl so that they can become all melted, all right? And if you just have some that's in there that's a little stubborn, then just throw it in there for five seconds, but it's really not necessary to. This is my technique that I do all the time to make sure that I don't overheat my candy melt or chocolate, but make sure that my melts are completely melted. Okay? So as you see here, I'm working that around. I'm utilizing the heat from the glass and the heat from the candy melts. Okay. Like I said, if you got a few lumps in there, just work it around. So it only took me two 30 seconds intervals. And I have not added any candy, I mean, uh, Paramount Crystals or Shortening. And I'm good with that. Okay. Now the coloring. Before they came out with this particular product, it was Chef Masters that we were using. A gel food coloring. And normally, when we add the gel to our candy melts or chocolate you add too much it'll seize up right and then when it seize up you'll put it back in the microwave melt it again trying to get it smooth and then that's when you putting all the oils 
into your candy melts or chocolate just so that um, it can get back down to this consistency so that you can get ready and dip your strawberries or apples or whatever, right? That's using the Chef Masters. Well, um, Artisan Accents have created some chocolate food coloring that works very well with coloring your chocolate. Um, I had some red over here. And I don't know what I did with it. Oh, it's right here. So this is red. They come in all different colors. Okay. And I will put a link up if uh, you would like to order some. But, you know, Valentine season is red, pink, and black. A lot of people use. Okay. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when you add a few drops. Okay. If you want a light color, do a few drops. All right. And also, as much as you add, you're going to notice it's not going to change the consistency, but it is going to make it a little um, thinner, but it's not going to clump up. So I'm going to add a few drops here. One, two drops. And this is just pink. Okay. Make sure that it's mixed, the white is all mixed in there. I'm going to have a lot of pink strawberries. I think I'm going to do some pink. Uh, press a rod. Consistency has not changed. It's still the same. Now, if you was using Chef Masters and you added that, Consistency will definitely change and you would have had to put it back into the microwave So if you wanted a lighter pink, you would just use a few drops if you wanted to get darker like this color here Okay, I'm gonna show you what the difference is in chef masters and the chocolate chameleon so I'm gonna add about 10 drops one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now we all know if that was Chef Masters and we mix this. Oh yeah, the chocolate is seasoned really bad. Well, not with chocolate chameleon. It still keeps the consistency and you get a nice, vibrant, beautiful color. Now y'all give me some likes on the color. Come on somebody. So, y'all want to know why my strawberries look like they look. This is why. I take pride in what I do. And every day you perfect something about um, your craft. So, um, this is how I did my strawberries, as you see. Where can you find it? I will leave a link um, to one of the shops that sell this. Um, they don't sell it from their website because they have wholesalers. They're a wholesaler and it's other small companies that sell the product. I will leave you a link to one of them. Um, just give me time to add it, add it to um, this video. Any questions? I got a few minutes for questions. We are already going into 40 minutes. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me.
after cleaning my berries, my stem, uh oh, my stem always break off. How can I prevent that? Um, if it's a weak stem, then it may break off. Um, but if you just joining, I did demonstrate in the beginning of this video how I clean my berries. I dip them in water. I don't let them sit overnight. I do a spray wash after I dip them out of this uh, vegetable wash, vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and water mixture. And then I just spray them after I take them out. They only need to, you know, be dipped in that water for about five minutes. Okay. I don't let them soak because I try to keep my leaves as green as possible so they won't be brown. Do you, uh, do you know why they sweat? Strawberries don't last long at all. That's why they sweat. Um, you know, you, they're, you coating something in chocolate, ch coating them in chocolate and they're not made to last long. So strawberries are only good for, for like four days, you know, four to five days the most. But if you dip them, what I normally do is dip these, I package them and I put the whole package in the refrigerator until the customer comes and get them. Um, they're not good to stay in there for a week. So when you make these, you can do them in like two days um, before time. That third day, your customer should be coming to get your strawberries or your family should be ready to eat them. Okay, if I didn't get any of your questions, just remember once the video is posted, just go back down in the comment section below and just um, react your question and I'll try to answer your questions accordingly. How do you add flavor like mint? Thank you. I'm glad you asked. Great question. I always forget to do this demonstration. This is very important. Very important. Okay. I You must use an oil-based flavor. An oil-based flavor. I use Loran oils. It has to be an oil-based flavor. It doesn't take... This is not candy apples. It doesn't take a full dram. The... Chocolate already has a flavor or the candy melts already may have a vanilla flavor. You only need to add a few drops, one to two drops to your um, chocolate or candy melts and you have flavored your chocolate, okay? No more than that. One, two, three done fell in there. But if you have a, um, a, a little dripper, it's best to use that because if you use too much of it, your your chocolate or candy melts will seize. But I don't use no more than one or two drops of flavoring. And you can flavor whatever flavor you want. Strawberry. I know if you watch my business page or my Facebook and I post my flavors, I flavor. You know, you can do a strawberry flavor. Um... Uh, what's another? I'm going to do this for Mika. Mika, been asking how to do these particular berries. Give me one second. I'm going to do this berry for her. I'm going to uh, melt this white chocolate. This is for uh, a follower of mine. Um, been following me. And she been asking for these berries. Since I got this pink and I have this white, I'm going to demonstrate one more berry for you all. Um, but um, if you wanted to, I did um, the Lifesaver flavor. All I did was add a strawberry flavor to my candy melt. I melted, melted pink and white. Okay, let me make sure this is mixed since I'm already going to use pink. Just a little bit of this. I'm going to melt this again. Okay. Let me get a strawberry. She wanted to see how I did the marble effect 
but I added strawberry flavor to the candy melt and I mix and I mix the two just a little bit so it can give a marble effect. Oh, I melted down there. Put this in for about 10 more seconds. All right, real quickly here. This, I'm doing a marble effect, okay? Mika, I hope you're watching. This is for you. I'm just going to add a little bit of pink. Mix that in there like that. Not all the way. Take your berry. Grab it and hold it. And normally I like to make sure it's the full cup. Okay. And what I do is I twist forgot which side I was gonna sit it down on. Okay. Just like that. Just add a little bit of the color that you're going to marble if marbleize. And I don't like to dip it sideways like this. I like to go straight in because I do a twist. Okay, make sure it's fully, it's full. I'm trying to get some of that pink. But just to marbleize. The chocolate and that's it okay and you can do either or if you have red add a little bit of white dip down in there and just twist it and come back up oops now I gotta do that over let me do this one I just redipped that because I messed it up. Since I messed it up, I gotta dip the whole thing. All right. I'm making a mess here. 
But that's how you marble um, your strawberries. All right. All right, y'all. Oh, God bless you as well. I appreciate you all. I might as well go ahead and redip this one. I want to so be I'll take pictures afterwards. You know, I strive for perfection, so it has to be right. Maybe a, a mess in the beginning, but after it all, it comes out beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. And have a bowl up under y'all. Um, do like I'm doing. Wasting my sprinkles here. Got plenty of them, but yes, 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 yes. All right, beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Don't forget to give this video thumbs up. Let's get it to 500 likes for your girl Ro on the on the Valentine strawberries. Come on, y'all. Leave a comment in the comment section below, letting me know how you enjoyed this session of. Uh, Valentine strawberries. I will be back to do another demonstration with chocolate apples, Valentine apples, and I will see y'all in the next video. For those that's new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and subscribe, y'all. Show some love for your girl, Rose.